Hey guys, it's Daniel's Probs here, and this is episode 13 of my Universal Minecraft editor. And this one we're doing falling blocks. Now, what is falling blocks? Now, in this chest here, I've got a piece of sand. Now, if you place a piece of sand on a fence, you see, it will not actually fall onto it, if that makes any sense. It's like jittering, can you see that? See, it's like moving. Now that's classed as it's like falling sand. You know when sand falls like that? That becomes now, that is an entity. Now we can actually play with that, okay? So this is how I've done mines in my prison server. So this is it now, as you can see. All I've done is put that in that spawner there. And basically that is just spawning them down here, look, as you can see. But what's bad about this is, as you can see I put walls here, it's dropping the item. So watch when it goes up there, it won't spawn one there. It will drop it. Ready? See? So that's bad. But that's how you do it. So that is actually spawning out of that now. Now I'll show you how to do it properly. <laughs> so this is a just some iron ore. And as you can see, if I... Um, oh, I haven't got host options on. <laughs> God damn it. But if I had a pickaxe, you know, I'll be able to pick pickaxe that and it'll be like a mine. So that's how I came up with this idea. So obviously I'll get the ore from it, but you can see it's not dropping the item like that. So that's that example. And also, yes, you can make end gateways on this program. A lot of people keep asking me about it. How do I do it? I used to use MCC tool chest, but now I use Universal Minecraft Editor. And you can actually get these spawned out. But I've made this so when I'm really close to it, see the flames come out? And now it will only spawn. If we just wait for a second. There you go. See? Easy. But, so I, what I would do is make one of these, this spawner here in my inventory. So it'll be in one of these. And then I could just use that and place it around anywhere. And then once I, you know, it's actually quite good. Because you actually kind of got a placeable end portal. If you know what I mean. But yeah, what I'll do is place it down and then literally just break that. And then you've got that. But the only problem with this is you need to add all the tags in yourself. Because actually it thinks that I'm going through it. As you can see, the beam comes out. But it hasn't actually got the um, exact like exit to the teleport tags. Anyway, I'll go through that on the computer so you know what's going on. Pretty straightforward. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's pretty much the same thing I've showed for a while now with spawners. But anyway, I'm going to do it because I've got loads of requests for this. So all you need is a piece of sand and obviously a monster spawner, but you need to, you know, add that in. So all I'm going to do is place this piece of sand up here. So then it gets stuck. Yeah. And then place the spawner there. And now we're going to go on the computer and sort this out. So we're going to get that inside that. Okay. So we'll see you on your PC. Right, so we've loaded up Universal Minecraft Editor and I'm just going to find my falling block save. Okay. Now I want to do is go to my player, go to chunk, and okay, it's not there. Let's have a look at these mob spawners a minute, make sure these are the right ones. And that's no, should be a piggy. Yeah, oh, here we go. Pig. Yep. Okay, so that's the spawner. There's the end gateway, that's fine. But we need to find this falling sand, so, so it's probably going to be here, is it? Uh, it might be the... yeah, there we go. So this is the one we're on about, okay, the falling block. So that is the falling piece of sand. So I need to copy that, Control c And I can just go up here and go back to my spawner. Okay, so this is the pig spawner. I want to delete that, paste that in, and rename that spawn data, like so easy and right what we got here okay so we've got position right this is quite important so we've got these positions down here which is the mob spawner now I need to get these right okay now for blocks it seems to be if you put 0.5 they will spawn in the middle but if you have it on 14 for example it will spawn on the edge and it starts going glitchy I don't know you might have seen it before if people have used these before you know what I mean? It needs to be 0.5 to be in the center, okay? 
It's the same with armor stand holograms, things like that, okay? Always 0.5. Quite mathematical, but you'll get used to it. Next thing, we've got the Y coordinate. Now that is the actual position of my mob spawner. Now I need the block to spawn underneath it, so for example then I'll have to put that at 6. Okay, easy. Now this says 0 0.5, which is correct, but we need to get rid of the minus. And that is it guys. So now that piece of sand will spawn right underneath the mob spawner. But I don't want it to be a piece of sand. For this little tutorial, <laughs> I want to show you, you can do multiple things. And for example, we're going to do wall, okay? Now if you just change the block down here, change it to whatever you want that's how I'm doing the end gateway obviously you rename that to end gateway uh, remove this if you want multiple of them spawning and this drop item is if you set that to zero that will make it so it won't drop an item as you've seen at the start of my video the sand next to me was dropping sand wasn't it so set that one to zero that'll be that now this data works the same as damage values if you play with blocks and stuff so for wall, I want this to be red, I would put in 14. Okay, do you understand? Easy. Motion, now this is obviously X, this is Z, and this is Y. This is a very important tag. I mean, you can make your block fly. You might have seen on Twitter and stuff that someone, I think it's Noble Dares, is it? And Stealthy Expert. They've started building like building structures with just this tag. Now that's how I've done the... Um, end portal, end gateway, yeah? If you set that to one, it will spawn bounce up one. Okay, guys? But that, yeah. I might go over that another day. I mean, I'm not really doing it on this. This is just literally a block spawning thing. So that's that, okay? Now, if we want to spawn loads of these, you copy that, like I've done before. Delete that, which is the piggy. Whoa. Just delete that like that. Paste that in there. And we got all the blocks. So we just want to rename that to entity like it was. That's that. And so that's the red one, okay? So let's add a couple more colors so I can show you can spawn loads. Um, everything needs to stay the same. We're just going to change this to, I don't know, six. And what else we got here? Let's just put that one as free. Easy. I don't know how many of these you can have, but I'll do one more so I can show you. On my minds, I've been doing just four. I mean, you could probably go up to like 20, but I don't know. You could play around with this quite a lot. And that is that, guys. Easy, yeah? Now, I just wanted to show you quickly the end gateway, like how I do it now. So, this is the end gateway that spawned from the spawner, okay? Now, if you go on Google or whatever your web browser thing is, and just type in end gateway, you should pop up with this Minecraft wiki, first of all. And if you go down, there's some tags that come with these end gateways. Now, if we just copy that exact teleport, and we just go on here, insert a byte tag, paste that in, and we set that one to one, okay. Go back on here, and there's this thing called exit portal. Now, if you copy that, back on here, add a compound tag, call it that, easy. That's it. And then we just copy the Y, copy the, sorry, Y, I meant X. Copy the Y now, copy the Z, and that's all that. Easy. And for this example, I'm just going to set it all to zero because, I don't know, it just makes sense probably. I'm at zero coordinates. I might just blast that up to 10 maybe. I don't know. That is it, guys. I mean, not very hard. I mean... You know, you can change these to any block you want. Like I say, you can change them to ore and stuff like that. Pretty straightforward. Um, so that's that, okay? But now all I need to do now is obviously make the spawner spawn these quicker. So what I did for my mines and stuff, I just set that one to 80, set that one to 20, so they spawn quite rapidly. Set this to something like 6, and set that to 1 to stop stupid clicking. And the range you can set to... Four, four is good. Four is good. I mean, for my mines, because I made them a bit more higher, because obviously the range works per block, sort of. I don't know, it's an estimation, if you know what I mean. But for the spawn range on my mines and stuff, I was setting it to like six and eight between that. But that is it, guys, okay? So what I'm going to do now is save and exit, and we'll go on the Xbox. 
Right guys, let's load this up and I will show you that we should have different color wall and the end portal should work. Oh, we got a gray one. Why is it all gray? That's weird. But as you can see there, look, see there's my red one, 14, yeah? But as you can see, that's how you do it. Oh god, I've got a pink one. <laughs> but that's how you do it guys, very easy, yeah? I mean, like I say, you can change that to or or whatever you want. Not very difficult and you can also have it in your hand I mean yeah it's pretty straightforward now this should work oh it has spawned me but it hasn't spawned me in the correct area but that's probably because it's the first time it's been used so if you know what I mean you now I've used it once and it's worked I can just edit that again it's pretty straightforward but that is it guys that's the end of episode 13 thanks very much for watching and it's actually <laughs> night time in here anyway I hope that helps you. Um, obviously, if you want to make loads of these, you need to. It takes forever, guys, but you need to do them side by side, and yeah, it does take a bit of time, as you can see why it took me so long to release my map. But anyway, I'm Darren Rasparos. Thanks very much for watching. 